uh, in my learning as I age, uh, there are many surprises. But uh, this is a human journey. And uh, just a few days ago, uh, Secretary Bongo called for a last meeting at the guest house together with the clusters of cabinet members. We were discussing the possibility of uh, hosting. And I was uh, asked by Secretary Bongo and also the very dynamic Secretary Alakaitano if uh, there is uh, an opening for hosting. And I said yes. Thank you, Chairman Ramirez. And then um, with, uh, with us here today is um, Philippine Olympic Committee President, Mr. Pipin Kowako. Sir. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, well, it's a great day today for me. A great day because uh, something very important will happen again in 2019, which is the 30th uh, Southeast Asian Games uh, uh, overall. So, um, well, from what I gather, anyway, uh, this is all uh, through the effort of Secretary uh, uh, Caetano, who uh, on his own we clarified many of the issues that it was disturbing the hosting. And once these uh, issues were clarified, it became easier for everyone to just agree to continue the hosting in 2019. And I can't explain further how important this is to our country. We've seen the effects of 2005 that when we hosted it in, in the Southeast Asian Games. So again, uh, many thanks to Secretary for uh, this effort. And although last minute, uh, we can, I guess everybody will be, I hope everyone will be just as happy as I am. And uh, maybe this will add more impetus for everyone to contribute to this uh, effort, which is, this is not for people, this is not for Secretary for that for which for me, this is for the country. Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, I heard you, you said you have a flight. Ash going to the South, Southeast Asian Games, sir? Yeah, it's a good thing my flight was delayed by an hour, so I. Yeah. My flight is noon time. Thanks for coming, sir. And then um, finally, the chairman of the Sea Games Organizing Committee, Department of Foreign Affairs Secretary, Alan Peter Ketan, sir. Good morning, everybody. Unang-una, answered prayers po ma, na matuloy ang ating uh, hosting and uh, you know, glory to God na our athletes will have a chance not only to showcase uh, their sports, their talents, but also the new Philippines, uh, which we expect in the next two years, and also preparation nila for Tokyo 2020. So, alam niyo, pag pinag-usapan natin ang ating magiging spiritual, whether we're Christian, Buddhist, Muslim, we always say one body tayo and one family, di ba? Pero there's always something that divides us. And uh, muntik nang hindi matuloy ang uh, hosting for legitimate reasons, no? Uh, from security, the uh, uh to issues uh, that affects sports all over the world. But when you talk about sports, what concepts come to your mind? Di ba? Discipline sacrifice, never say die attitude, or uh, to use Aguila's term, puso, di ba? Tapos yung uh, unity and leadership. So kami tatlo po na nandito sa inyong harap, we're not perfect, uh, there's gonna be a big challenge, pero para sa bayan, para sa ating athletes, no? uh, para mas showcase po ang Pilipinas, uh, we will exercise the leadership by example, by being united. No? So if there are people uh, around us, below us, around the country that have some uh, criticism or, or comments, um, natural lang yan kasi democracy tayo eh. No? But I am uh, of full faith na si Kong Piping, the president of the POC, and uh, si Chairman uh, Kuya Butch uh, Ramirez will be able to guide me and will be able to uh, help us all. No? Uh, to be able to have a very successful hosting. And we special thanks this early to uh, BCDA and to Clark uh, because I think they are making preparations also if uh, we decide to use their facilities. So I'll stop there uh, so that you can ask questions. Then my flight nga si uh, competing to 
uh, para masuporta ng ating mga athletes uh, sa Malaysia. Thank you, everybody. So now, at this point, we're going to open the floor for questions and answers. Um, uh, Mr. Eddie Arinaya, sir. <laughs> 